traders and welcome. I'm Tomao Mer, FX Globe Ambassador, and this is FX Globe Masterclass. Today's session is how does the bond market works? The bond market is a financial market where investors can buy and sell bonds. The bond market can be divided into two main categories: the primary market, where new bonds are issued, and the secondary market where existing bonds are traded. In the primary market, the issuer of the bond, be it a corporate or a government, works with an investment bank to underwrite and issue new bonds. The investment bank helps set the terms of the bond, which include the interest rate, the maturity date, and any other special feature or arrangements. The bond is then sold to investors through an auction or other public or private offering process. Once a bond has been issued, it can be traded in the secondary market. The secondary market is when investors can buy and sell existing bonds among themselves. The price of a bond in the secondary market is determined by supply and demand and is influenced by a variety of factors such as the creditworthiness of an issuer and the overall market conditions. One of the biggest influence on the price of bonds are changes to interest rates. So if interest rates rise, the price of a bond will typically fall as newer bonds with higher interest rate become more attractive to investors. And in an aggressive tightening cycle by central banks, such as we experience these days, bonds with a long maturity that were issued in the days of the ultra-low interest rates have quickly lost their value. This caused big losses to investors and was also one of the main culprits for the downfall of several US regional banks, such as Silicon Valley Bank. And what would happen to bonds if the fear of a recession actually materialized and central banks start cutting interest rate? Well, the price of bonds in the secondary market will most likely rise as existing bonds which carry higher interest rates will become more valuable. One point to note about the assumed safety of the bond market. When a company collapses, there is usually a hierarchy as to which of the creditors of said company would get paid first after the company's assets are sold. And the expectation by the market is that the bondholders will be paid before the shareholders, granted not necessarily at the full face value of the bond. However, when Credit Suisse was sold to UBS in what the market described as a weekend shotgun wedding, it was the shareholders that were going to get paid ahead of the bondholders. This has called ripples through the bond market, as it called into question the very notion of the relative safety of the bond market over the share market. Happy trading!